Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna bring you around and show you a few things that I've um, switched around in my house um, decor wise. So I asked you, well, I told you guys I was gonna make this video and I got a lot of positive feedback. And I'm gonna start in the kitchen. This is just the stuff um, hanging out on my counter. Wow, that was, words are hard. I did buy that eucalyptus the other day from Hobby Lobby and the little vase thing. I believe that's also from Hobby Lobby. And then I have just my cups. This might be a lot of things on a con for people, but for me it works perfectly. Nothing really else has changed in the kitchen, except I did get this rug that feels really good on your feet when you're washing your dishes. I still have my desk and I still need to get a chair for it. <laughs> um, kind of messy, but whatever. I love this desk, I love the wood. It's awesome. Um, above it, I just have this kind of message, chicken wire message board that we can clip stuff on. And then I have a ladder over there. Above my ugly refrigerator, I have my ivory box. And then over here, I've, I cleaned off all my husband's crap that's been accumulating over there because I'm getting ready for fall. I cleaned out Madison's cubbies to get ready for school. Here's my kitchen island, um, nothing. I just have my large cutting board on there. And then that jar I got at Hobby Lobby and then I got that lavender at Hobby Lobby too. And then that basket I thrift. That's pretty much for the kitchen, you know, it's pretty boring, but I just did want to show you the little things that I did update if you want to go back in my other videos and see how it's changed. It hasn't changed that much, but it is a little bit different. So we're gonna go into the dining room right now. Okay guys, I understand the lighting in here is absolutely horrible, but if I turn the light on, then it uh, turns to be like this orangey yellow color and that's even worse. So I guess this is the lesser of two evils. Now, if you guys watched my latest haul video, you saw that I hauled these cushions. I did get a lot of good feedback on them. Um, you guys really seemed to like them. Some of you didn't like them on the chairs, some of you did. I got a lot of comments saying I should switch these two, but I only have two of these and I have four of these. So I have six chairs all together. So obviously that's not really gonna work, unfortunately. Um, but maybe if I do find two more of those, I could do that. Anyways, I have left those on there for now. And then my centerpiece, I took off my tablecloth. It needs to be washed. So I took it off and I just have this stand in the middle, this little vase, and then just some, some of that. <laughs> and then over here, I ended up putting back my little cubby things. Um, I went back and watched some videos, I watched some YouTube, and I saw that I, you know, I display my Santa mugs in there. Um, so I didn't want to, like, move it completely away from the dining room because my Santa mugs are, like, my favorite part of my Christmas decorating. So I put it back for now. And I just put three ironstone pictures in front of it. I just like the clean look. And then I put that gather sign on top of it. So for now it's just bare, doesn't look too cluttered and yeah. And I still have my scroll over there. Um, I got that from Cottonwood Shanty. She has an Instagram. I don't know if she sells them on Etsy. I think she does, um, but she does have a website. Nothing much has changed in my ironstone cabinet. Hello. Um, looks pretty much the same. I did take down the American flags that were up there. I took down all of my American flags. Um, and put them away for next year. And then I have my Crocs up top. So that is just, looks the same. A lot of changes, but I did make a few, so I thought you guys would wanna see them. I brought this blanket out here to put on these, this bench, and there's still white pillows there. Um, and then my chicken feeder, nester, whatever. Um, I switched it around a little bit. If you go back and um, watch some previous videos, you can see. But my clocks are still on here. I did add back some blue glass. I moved some of the clocks around and some of the books. So that's what it looks like for now. That's what it's gonna stay like for August. Um, I'm so excited for fall to decorate this. Like, you have no idea. I'm so excited. So that's what it looks like right now. And yeah, that's pretty much all of the dining room. Kind of boring. And I still have my um, antique mirror over there so let me oh there's a winston i don't want to make you guys dizzy that's pretty much it for my dining room 
kept it simple in my eyes. <laughs> so now we're gonna go into the living room, which I guess is the most changed. Okay, so this is behind my front door. I still have my chicken feeder with my pictures there. I do need to get a picture of Nala um, and put it up there. But I did change up the top. I moved those white corbels over here. Those were on my mantle. And then I have the um, seltzer bottles. Those are fake. I do wanna get real ones because if you guys know me, I like real antiques. And I'm not really huge on the reproduction stuff, but I just put those up there for now. And I still have that basket hanging there. I thrifted that basket. So here is my church pew that's in front of my staircase. Don't mind that gate that my dog knocked over to get upstairs. Um, I have my new pillows that I just bought that I showed you guys in my last haul. And then I have my new blanket um, also that I showed you in my last haul. So I think it has a little bit of color to this area. I know this is not like super colorful, but um, it's enough color for me. I know that um, the lighting is horrible again, I'm sorry. So these are all my old books. I decided to put them all on the shelf backwards because I love that look. And I think that it really ties in with the kind of color vibe that I'm going for. Kind of the blues, grays, you know, browns. Um, so yeah, I like how that looks and then I still have this basket here. I don't know if I'm gonna get something else to put here or leave that there because I do have a basket above it now um, in this little like frame. Nice way to hold it, yeah. Profesh. Um, and I love eucalyptus and I plan on using a lot of eucalyptus in my Christmas decorating this year, so I'm so excited about that. I know I say I'm so excited about everything. I love my little laundry basket that holds my blankets over here, kind of in the corner. Kind of sticks out a little bit too far, but it's fine. No one really comes over here. And then I have these little French, when I bought them, they had like French, it said French bag or something. I bought them at a, where I used to work. Um, so I just have the three of them hanging, nothing up there. Now I see a lot of bare spots because I'm kind of refreshing, you know, after summer, before fall, when it really gets crazy with all the pumpkins and stuff. So I thought that just looked cute above the laundry, laundry basket, because I don't know, it just reminds me of a laundry room. <laughs> <laughs> that is this little area. I do love it. I think it's very inviting because when I open my front door, you can see this area. Maybe I will get like a little sign or something that says welcome to put, I don't know, but that's in front of the stairs. So this is next to my big chair. Um, I hate my couches. I know we just like got them not that long ago, but I hate them. I hate the color. I hate how they attract dog hair or that they show the dog hair, but what am I gonna do? I have dogs. And there's my win. So I still have this little um, sewing table here. I love this table. And I put one of my um, tobacco baskets here. This is a reproduction, but this this is from Hobby Lobby. Um, and I did, it had like this rope detail around it. So I took that off and then, um, is this the one that I stained? I think it is. And I stained it and it kind of made it look older. So definitely when you take the rope off, it makes it look more realistic. So my mantle's pretty boring right now. Um, I did move those gray corbels over here. Those were behind my door on those shelves, but I like the big chunkiness of them. So I wanted to move them on my mantle. And then I moved my little terrarium thing over here and it just has a huge dictionary in it. It's simple for now. Like I said, I'm getting ready for, you know, after, you know, the end of August is when I start decorating for fall. Don't hate me. Um, so yeah, I just want a clean slate, clean palette to work with. Um, I still have my chair over here. I switched out the pillow and I have a little pom-pom blanket. I don't know if I showed you guys this. I got this at a um, antique store, consignment store, and it's one of those fishing baskets. I forgot they have a name. I forget what they're called, but I love it. And I just hung it on this door. So I'm excited to decorate um, decorate that for the seasons. It just opens up, it's really old and it's really awesome. Boringness. And then over here is pretty plain too. I moved my scale over here. Um, haven't decided on what I wanna put on it for now until I'm ready to put pumpkins on it. So now, for now, it's just, just chilling over there, nice and plain. <laughs> and then my couch, if you saw my video, my previous video, you saw that my dog ate one of my gray pillows that I love, so I just put some white pillows out, and I think it just brightens up this ugly, drab-looking couch. 
And then one of the biggest changes in the living room is I brought down this side table that I had up in our bedroom because we did move our bedroom around. There's a cord there, hello. Um, so I brought this down. I was gonna get rid of it, but I needed somewhere to put another lamp. I plan on getting another lamp and putting one over there because it's so dark in this room. We only have two, well, we have three windows, but the TV's covering one of them. We only have these two windows in the front and when the sun switches positions, this room gets so dark. So I definitely need another lamp. So I put this table over here and I really love how it, it looks. I know it's kind of squishy in here. I have a small house. It was built in 1920, um, but you know, it's cozy. So I have my, I moved my pedestal over here with the lamp and then I brought out one of my pictures and I got more eucalyptus from Hobby Lobby. It's the dried one. I like the dried one the best. Um, it's obviously real and it looks real. So that's why I like it. It all kind of flows better. So there's nothing on the coffee table. I try to just keep it clear. Um, and I just threw a blanket over there, the every day I'm snuggling blanket. And my dogs love the couch. My other one's upstairs. Winnie. Winnie needs to be brushed in the worst way. <laughs> Hi, Winnie. He's going through his summer shed. So that is pretty much everything that I've changed up. Like I said, it's not a ton, but it is, I thought it warranted a video um, to show you the little changes that I've made. Here's a little pan around and I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.